I was working with a lady at uh, my, my previous employer and her daughter was into uh, horses. And my daughter growing up, I thought hey, it would be kind of neat to get a horse. We were out to dinner one day and he just sprung on me, I think I'd like to buy a horse farm. <laughs> and it totally caught me off guard because I didn't see it coming. And I kind of presented it to her and say, you know, I'm kind of tired of what I'm doing and uh, I'd like to try this venture. We probably spent about six months really, you know, investigating it, investigating different properties, and we finally decided to do it, give it a shot. My daughter, she, if she could be out there all day long, she would be out there all day long. Uh, my son, he's not too thrilled with it anymore um, because he has to do work when he goes out there. I really don't like going out there, but when I am forced to, she is always with her friends, and I have to do most of the work that she's supposed to be doing. Most of the time I'm riding, but sometimes they have me work. Yeah. While we had been thinking about remodeling, but kept putting it off, the thought of it was so overwhelming. We decided to go to Artisan, and Julie made it so easy. We just wanted a bigger kitchen. It was a kitchen slash dining room, and we never used the dining room besides storage of junk. So we really wanted it to be more functional. What I like most about the kitchen is the Allison drawer because it has popsicles and ice cream. And I love popsicles and ice cream and sometimes I can sneak one without my mom or dad knowing. You open the door. Come on guys, this is crazy. busy as, as I have been in my career. We just haven't had a lot of time to really devote to cooking. Today we made something really cool for the parents on the go with those busy kids. A cheeseburger egg roll. Great appetizer, great quick lunch. Simple. I like to be able to do a nice steak like you get in a restaurant but at home. <laughs> I made a stuffed tenderloin with goat cheese, spinach, red roasted peppers with a beautiful sun-dried tomato pesto cream sauce. I have a sweet tooth and I love desserts. And what better way to bring it home than a family style pineapple upside down cake. You're a busy mom of two and I like to make things easy and healthy and able to feed the kids on the go. We're going to start by breaking our egg and we're going to Whip this up. This is going to be our glue. This is what's going to hold it all together. We buy the egg roll dough already done. Brown some ground beef off. Shredded some cheese. Diced up some tomatoes. Some onion. I got relish. I got a little hot pepper sauce because I like to mm. kick it up a notch. It amazes me because chefs just create things as they go. And I think he really did just create that. Look at that. Make a little tea. All right. Roll these up just like this. Roll it up. Bake it 400 degrees for about 10, 15 minutes. They're phenomenal. They really are cool. Jason, I understand that you're a big beef tenderloin kind of a guy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to show you one of my favorite dishes. We're going to make a stuffed beef tenderloin with goat cheese, fresh spinach, roasted peppers, and we're going to top it off with a sun-dried tomato pesto cream sauce. What do you think? Sounds good. Want to get started? Yeah. Let's okay. go. Well, first you get a chateau, which is the center cut of the tenderloin. I made an Inveza raisin in it, so I opened it up. I had Dave mix up the spinach and goat cheese with a little fresh thyme and rosemary. And Jason cut up the roasted peppers. I spread that on the tenderloin. We seared it for just a couple minutes on each side. I brought it over to the oven. We roasted it off medium rare temperature. It took about 40 minutes. While our tenderloin's in the oven roasting, we're going to make a nice, easy one-step pan sauce. We just took a basic pesto sauce, took some heavy cream, added it until it got the consistency that we desired, brought it to the table, and we're ready to go. He showed us how we can do a tenderloin that is simple and easy, and it does taste just like you're at a restaurant. Today I'm here with Allison, and we are doing pineapple upside down cake. Do you like pineapple? Yes. I'm gonna do something a little bit different with mine, and we are going to hop on the stove, and we are gonna make a caramel sauce. And that was melting the sugar down with a little corn syrup. Bringing that down to an amber color, we finished it with butter, and stirred that in, and then we poured that on the bottom of the pan. Now with this pineapple upside down cake, rather than use the canned, 
I wanted you to use fresh pineapple for me. And then the pineapple sliced extra thick, and we studded it with those cherries. The batter, we did use a fresh vanilla bean. We sliced it down and scraped out all those beans. We just whipped our butter, and then I added my sugar. We finished that with eggs. I like how she let me crack the eggs. It was really fun. She really interacted with me. Finished it in an oven, one hour, 350 degrees, loosen the sides, and then just flip it over. And that caramel sauce just oozes all over that pineapple. Mm. <laughs> It was awesome. Everything was awesome. The filet. The cheeseburger egg roll. I would have never thought of that. And how can you beat a pineapple upside down to topping that off at the end? My meal was great. I got to try new things that I've never had before. This is really why we built the kitchen, so we could have the family together. I really think of it like a family room. So we're really happy to have everybody here engaging with the chefs today. It was great. One word I would use to describe today would be fun. Come dine with me, Western New York.